everybody, welcome to Press Pause, the video game discussion show. I'm your host, Carl Sridella. That's what I said very fast. Today, I have Dan Shu with me, which is I, weird because you're here almost every week. I live here. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's under the behind, table. Yeah, behind that curtain. Behind the, that's what's behind the curtain? <laughs> it does that? smell you in here, it? yeah. Cesar yeah. is back with us. Yeah! Quintero. Uh, Area 5.tv, you forgot to mention that yeah, show. That's right, that's right. You guys are doing lots of fun stuff. What's going on with you? Uh, latest... Things you can't talk about it again. No, I, ca I can't talk about it, oh. no. Um, so for anyone who's going to COD XP, you'll see us uh, there. We'll be shooting a live show uh, with now Activision's Jay Frechette, uh, ah, one-up alum. Ah, Jay Word. And um, yeah, just doing some Activision stuff, you know, hanging out with those cool cool cats. Cool. Um, so we should, you can find it all on Area5.tv. All on Area5.tv, and if you check out the Activision uh, Call of Duty Elite website, uh, which will be, which is still in beta, I believe, but you know, send emails, get some requests in there, try to get into that beta. Cool. Um, and they'll be showing lots of cool new stuff at the COD XP. Uh, What's the, you know what that site is, or well, I guess we we'll probably put it in there somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. Right okay, cool. So everyone really gonna leave with a hardened edition of Modern Warfare Three from Call of Duty XP? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you heard Starting the first. rumor. You no, heard I, I, I honestly don't that know. That is confirmed, people. Um, we will probably uh, talk about it on the show if it happens, but that's happening next week, so mm -hmm. we'll be, or week after next, so we'll be there, reporting. So today we're gonna talk about Facebook games, which is I just thought we'd finally address it. No, address the issue. <laughs> the, the, the big, the big, the big elephant. Yeah, elephant. Room. <laughs> it's been out there, people. You've seen it. You know of it. Let's just bring it to light. All right. Want to see what you guys' opinions on it? I have, of course, some opinions. We've talked about on Press Pause Daily a bunch of times, uh, which is our daily thing where we talk about game stories because Zynga's always in the news. Mm -hmm. So specifically, we tried a few games. Dan and I. Um, the Sims was a new Facebook game that came out. The Sims, right? And then also Cityville's been out for a while, but we just, I thought I'd, we'd try that. And then we messed around with this uh, Game Maker. Did you mess up with the Game Maker? Yeah, too? the, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Aqua Pix Pixaquarium. Pixaquarium, Pixaquarium. which is uh, where you make your own games for Facebook. Whoa. But again, they're very, very basic games and not like involved. Can we talk about that one? Want to start with that? So you told me to check this thing out. I had no idea what it is, right? Yeah. I checked it out. I had so you know, you have to attach it to your profile and it's like, do you give it permission to yeah. whatever? So it announced to Facebook, my Facebook followers, friends, that uh, I'm playing this game in, and his reaction was like, like from one of the, Samir, right, one of our uh, Bitmob guys, he's like, what the? He's like, like <laughs> why are you playing this? And then I had that same reaction when I was playing. I'm like, what the hell? Why is, so why is Carlos making me play this thing? It's a, it's a little kid's like game maker well it's it's, it's yeah like it's dumbed really down. super dumb down. yeah 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 and i'm like why is carlo like so i want to know why did you have me play oh this well because so we mentioned on the show and press buzz daily the, the idea of these kind of you know games game making things for people to kind of make their own games and then that fact that that's all baked in there that kind of sharing ability so if that kind of gets better that kind of idea where the games are deeper that could be really interesting where i'm making my own game now i'm like making it go viral, you know, but of course that particular game maker is so basic that it's like yeah, not so even really fun, but you know, the, the, the basic idea. How basic is, is it? I mean, well, all you do is you import a picture for your characters on a spaceship. You import characters, uh, pictures from um, your computer for four enemy characters, uh -huh. and you're just flying around. And you can do the background as well as another picture. You just import these pictures, and then you just fly around, you picking up stars, and stars dropping and them avoid the the flag. I put my cat in there, though my cat's head, <laughs> which you'll see. I'm putting video of it. And my cat's head's flying in a spaceship. So, so but it's you, you did it how the intended audience is supposed to do it. So little girls, little little. I did it as a little girl. Little preteen actually, girls. This yeah, this, this was, program is for preteen <laughs> girls. And you did exactly what they I wanted. I did exactly what they wanted to because cat on yeah, in the name yeah. of journalism. <laughs> But no, we're but gonna, I, I knew it was trouble too skip. because all the pictures, the demo pictures, were like little girls. I'm like, this this, pro, this obviously is designed for little girls. But there was no, wait, I didn't see any little girls. Yeah, like all the demos, like this is what you do, and they're all like little like oh, like, like little care cartoon girls. characters. Yeah, I don't know, I think you're focusing too much on the little girls thing, which is making me feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> let's you, just you go. Had me play it. I did. I, let's go. Let's say that for the end and talk about the games. I, I more think want to talk about that game is more like, hey, do we want to spread these games? You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the the reason for that game. Let's talk about Cityville. 
Sure. So I actually started playing Cityville before we decided to do this, which was good timing. Yeah. And then, because uh, I was doing some research for another project I'm working on, and uh, I was like, uh, it's time to dive in. I, I wanted to do it with Farmville because I remember uh, a couple of game developers conferences ago. That's what all everyone would talk about. Like yeah, half it was the, the panel for sure. Yeah, half the panels were about Farmville. And I'm like, I really, as an industry guy, I really should check it out. And then I, I tweeted that or something. And people are like, No, 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 no. You don't. Yeah, want to good do choice. And then uh, good choice. But then Cityville, I'm like, Okay, I finally have to get into it in building a city sounds more fun than building doing a farm mm -hmm. so I did it and it's just like you know every, everyone knows this already right but it's just like non-stop barrage of like share this with your friend tell sure. your friends yep. do this yep. do this it's, a virus. Like, it's just like yeah but like a bad virus like like, like, the, like <laughs> not a regular no, not virus a good, not a good virus a really bad virus not the slow like we're gonna kill a few people once in a while it's like the that, that movie that Gwyneth Paltrow is gonna be in. oh, oh contagion. Contagion. Yeah. contagion yeah where it's just like why do we all know that <laughs> everyone's gonna like die really quickly yeah it's like that kind of virus and it's just like a non-stop barrage and then I guess some of, like it announced right that I'm playing Cityville and all of a sudden all these requests are coming in like yeah, I want to yeah, be your neighbor I, I want to yeah. share this I need this from you I need this from you but the thing is obviously there's a science behind it and some psychology behind it because it's annoying as hell but I'm I'm still like like right You're still now compelled to do it. I'm like I need to get home and take care of these things yep, right? yep, there's like yep, a lot of things yep. waiting for me right well, now Well let me let's, let's stop right now right now and put it on the page is I don't know what put it on the page means Harvest Moon Sim City all these types of games are these games redone in this Facebook era to be spread virally, like you said, like a virus. Um, the thing is, those games are funner in the fact that you don't have to wait for things, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's my big thing about Facebook games, is that, you know, once you're done with gold or once you're done with your energy for the day, you're just going to sit around and wait. It's like Ebony, if you ever played Ebony. It's like the same thing. And that is not fun to me. That's fundamentally wrong, and it makes me feel awful. Uh, I but, think it's okay for that space, though, right? It's like, yeah, you're, if you're at I'm work really? and you just want to check in, like, like that's how I use Facebook, right? I can look, read a few updates on the walls, mm -hmm. uh, maybe comment on a few things. I'll check in on my city, and it's like back to normal life for me. I, I, I'm I guess I get too glad. obsessed over my city, though. I'm like, I'm a gamer, so I'm like, I want to like get this city going. See, that's the hardcore in you, though. Like honestly, for me, I, I'm, I'm with you because for me, I'll run, I'll run not only like Cityville or anything else I'm playing, but Tiny Tower on my iPad or on my iPhone. I'll keep that just like off to the side, and like every once in a while, I'll hear a notification. I'll be like, oh, let me jump in and tend something. Interesting. And then back, back out, and I'm like, you're right. I'm, I'm off for another two hours. It's almost like a, a break reminder. I'm like, oh yeah, let me, let me take care of this stuff. Okay, back to. Well, back to there's work. always that kind of human like want to do micromanagement stuff, yeah. and I think that's kind of what taps into. Um, I guess it's the barrage of the share stuff mixed together with the fact that if I do want to play for, I don't know, 10 minutes, I might not be able to, you know? That's, I guess that's what it is. Without yeah. paying give, money. Yeah, give me a little yeah. bit longer of a leash there, and then I'm, I might be with you guys on that, especially with Cityville, because Cityville is the one, the, the, fun, the one I had most fun with, mm. because Farmville and some of those other ones were just, it seemed like a total barrage. This one, Cityville, I felt like I built like four houses, a coffee shop, a bakery, I, you know, I got some stuff done. And uh, also what I thought was cool about Cityville is they showed the little people walking around, mm -hmm. which I liked. It reminded me of a Roller Coaster Tycoon, mm -hmm. which was very great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like um, it's just a little bit longer, and I would have fun with it. I want them. Actually, I was just talking about this because I was telling my girlfriend. Did I just say we have fun with Facebook games? <laughs> you, Can you're we strike in. that from the record? <laughs> you're okay, in. You're all in. No, no, no. I did say that. Uh, I want them to do a roller coaster tycoon ville. Oh, right. That'd be fun. I would love yeah. that. Yeah, then I, again, I, I love just, like wait, wait. Sim theme park and wait a roller coaster tycoon. Oh. What I just said was like, I, I, that's what I wanted when it didn't have the chains on it. And you're like, you know, it'd be good. Let's take Carlos's favorite experience <laughs> and not let him play it for only five minutes at a time. Oh. Don't play roller coaster tycoon three. Play it just in five minute chunks. But I yeah, I, I, I don't. I think the five minute thing is okay. Like I, that's all I want to play it for. I, I, I understand what Zynga's doing. You know, they just want you to just, they want to get more money out of you. Yeah, yeah. They want you to come back and visit. They want to string you along all day long instead of like this one or two hour chunk of time. Right. So, and you're yeah. buying, and you're buying is what you're saying. It's digital crack. <laughs> digital crack, digital yeah. crack. Well, I, I'm not quite as addicted, I don't think, because I like, it's like, I think about it, but I'm not like, as soon as I get home, I got to yeah, play. Yeah. Like, I got, what about The Sims? Did you try that? No, I haven't. Oh, you even tried I, I, I played Sims online. I played past Sims, but right, not right. the Oh, Facebook Sims online, Sims. that was a... Uh, fiasco. This is sort of this is sort of like what Sims Online should should have been. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. And, and it works. And again, I think we reviewed it on daily, and I mentioned something like it works on kind of the basic level of like, hey, Dan Chu's in my house. That's kind of cool. Like me and Dan Chu are gonna go like play video games together or something. But I'm dance like, dance in the living room. Yeah, dance in the living room and talk <laughs> alien. Watch out, I'm watching. And play little girl games. And, play, and dress up as twelve year old girls because that's what Dan likes to do because that's what he's obsessed with. 
See, what I don't like is I think there are there are plenty of companies making trying to bring more hardcore experiences to Facebook, mm -hmm. and I. But I, what I don't like about the business right now is everyone's looking at Zynga, right? So when EA is getting into this business and all that, they they look at what Zynga's doing, right? Yeah. And they're, they're like, that's influencing. Well, they look at the doing, money. They look right? at the money. Are you so, guys talking about just the monetizing, like yeah, the, the monetizing kind of and stuff? the energy sort of things, and just sort of like how do, how do oh, we the gameplay? Yeah, well, everything. Like, like generally, how do we make Facebook games? Zynga's the leader, mm -hmm. so Zynga's going to be the one everyone starts following. Versus, like, if you know, if you remove, if Zynga never happened, if Farmville never happened, I think the the face of Facebook games would be much different, and the world would be a better place. Yeah, it'd be. I'm I think it'd be like more serious games. Yeah, like, yeah. Like well, people the, would, they wouldn't be trying so hard. Who's the guy that's working on one right now? That's a, that's a big famous uh, PC guy. Sid Meier. Uh, Sid Meier. He's doing a, the, yeah. Well, they did uh, the Civilization Facebook game. Is it already on? Mm -hmm. Is it already out? I should check that out. See, I, I used to be a Zynga detractor, but they they have done a really good job of bringing in talent, more and more talent, you know, from like the, the classic games industry, and and kind of hooking hooking the the hardcore into into the uh, casual game space a little bit. And well, like Empires and Allies. Yeah, Empires and Allies. That's exactly yeah. the thing. Like I started playing that because of uh, Amir who came on, and I was like, oh, I should check this out. It's his it's his new thing, you know. And I was like, this is actually pretty good. Like I would play this more, and I and I am, and it's funny because. I, you know, I we would all like, oh, curse you, Zynga. But like, the more and more they, they, they get their hooks into good developers. Like, you know, it's changing the company internally a little bit. I mean, who knows what it's like to work for them? But at the same yeah. time, the products are, are are improving in terms of hardcore quality. You know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. But at the same time, they established the model, like you said, that everyone's trying to copy, and that creates a ton of Cityville clones and Mafia Wars clones. Yeah, yeah we need the, we need the developers to break out of that and, and use the, the social power that it has. You yeah, know? Yeah. That's what I, I think I was saying on the Daily about the Sims one, the new Sims one, is that um, it could have been really cool, you know, what the way you evolve and, and talk with your friends or whatever, or build houses together or stuff like that, but it comes really cookie cutter, mm -hmm. and you really can't break out of that mold too much. You have to wait and share a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, just give me all the tools in the beginning, and then maybe let me play only for 10 minutes, but like give me a lot more, and then again, that comes to, the, they're all doing the same thing, so. Yeah. So, uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was just gonna be a n non-stop barrage of swear words <laughs> against Facebook games, but yeah, There's, there's also okay. like the other class of Facebook games that I kind of like, like, like little simple word games. Um, yeah, like like little like word oh, like twists. the words with friends, oh, words yeah, with friends, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Or the uh, hangman one. I haven't played that one. Oh yet. yeah, I love that one. That one's great. Or like, uh, we should all play who has the biggest brain. Oh, that's it's, a game? It's like, it's like a brain age, basically. He like wants to win at everything. He's just like, what can I win at? <laughs> Speaking of Wait, winning. It's a brain age? for. It's like brain age for, it's called, who, who has the biggest brain, I think it's called. Oh, I gotta check it out. I think it's Playfish, if I'm not mistaken, but it's like Ooh. brain age, basically. I would play that. But you can, you know, you obviously have your Facebook friends as a leader. Yeah, yeah. And all that. Speaking of competitive, competitive nature and competition, I lost the UFC challenge. Did you know about that? I didn't. I uh, did win that arm wrestle. Condolences, that? condolences. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't... That was a good arm wrestle. I won. Anyways, I lost the big challenge, so I have to. I owe him lunch, and it's going to happen soon. Yeah. Maybe today. Who knows? Maybe today. All right. That's going to do it for the show. Uh, you can check out Sesar over Area Five. You should go there. They have cool videos, and they're awesome. <laughs> you can follow Bitmob if you want. Bitmob Shoe here. This at guy. Bitmob or at Bitmob Shoe. Or at. Tell your little girls. Oh, <laughs> I said that really quiet. <laughs> this is getting weird. Bring up the mic. And I'm Onawa, O-N-A-W-A. Uh, Scott Jones is over there on Technical Producer. He's uh, Yoshiwara. There he is. All right. We'll see you later. Oh, wait. Game over. Can you do it on him? Aw. Oh, you say it this time. Game over. <laughs> That's, the <worst. laughs> That's the worst way you can say it ever. They're like, discussion chew. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to. You'll speed that up in post. Yeah, I'll, see. <laughs> I'll fix that in post. Three by three item right there. Because it's surrounded by all items, increasing the profit. You look around, it's all around. This one is 16% increasing. And the 
area is just overlapping the 3 by 3 spot where you place your business. And then you see it's 154 percent. Yeah, so 152. Okay, good morning.